coming back to my channel i'm stephanie and today we are going to be doing another air fryer video and it's going to be something just a little different than um like a treat we're going to do just a basic pizza in the air fryer but we're going to use bread instead of pizza crust and then just different toppings instead of your normal toppings so I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you what I have out for today. And I'm sure you can use any other toppings, but for today I have um, other stuff that's just a little bit different than maybe you would put on a pizza, but we're gonna give this a try and see how it turns out. Here are the things that I got for the pizza today. It, I got the Italian bread, so it looks like this. I have the homemade I think it's called margarita pizza sauce. I got this at Walmart. I got everything at Walmart. So if you guys are looking for any of this, um, the great value mozzarella, the feta crumble, um, it just comes like this. And you can get a, this is a smaller container of it. So you can get a small one if you're just not gonna use a lot of it. And then some spinach. So all you need to do is just make it like a normal, a normal pizza. So we'll put some sauce on here. I'm gonna spread that out. And then, I'm going to put salt and pepper on mine. I'm sure if you guys want to, you could put Italian season or parsley or oregano or any other kind of seasoning if you would like. But I'm just going to do um, salt and pepper. I'm going to take out some spinach leaves and just layer that on top. So I'm going to put three pieces on each slice of bread and then I'm going to take some of the feta and just dump it right on top and then some mozzarella and you guys could probably put any kind of cheese topping that you like if there's another kind that you would prefer over feta you could probably do blue cheese or you know just american cheese or the maybe the parmesan I'm trying to think of another cheese you could put on here you could pretty much do anything on one of these pizzas okay so that's pretty much what i'm going to put on mine today we are going to place this in the air fryer now i don't know i know somebody mentioned in one of my other videos if i had the one where the base comes out and it does so we got evelyn right here what you got you got a cup yeah this comes out you could just clean it up this is what usually what i do i just take it right out and i clean it up so i'm gonna put that in there i'm going to place my pizza right in and you could probably get four slices in here if you would like i think that would fit it's pretty big in here you could probably maybe even get five if you scrunch these together and you would probably be able to fit some more in there on my air fryer the temperature only goes to um 400 so i'm going to put mine at 400 Oh, and it automatically starts at 15. I'm gonna put my temp down to six minutes and see if the cheese is melted and the crust is um, browned and crunchy. I guess depending on how you guys like your pizza is how long you might wanna keep it in the air fryer. I'm gonna give it six minutes and uh, see how it turns out at six minutes. And then I'll come back and um, I'll let you guys know what it, how it turns out. I set my timer for six minutes at 400 degrees 
and I ended up having two minutes left. So I would suggest to just put it in for four minutes, as many as you put in there. So this is what it looks like after four minutes and they're hot and you can kind of hear that. So they are crunchy. So I'm gonna take that right out. If you would like also, you can put some spray down so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of your base here. I went ahead and made another pizza bread with the sauce, salt and pepper, and oregano on it, and just mozzarella. So like maybe for the kids, they don't wanna have all the extra stuff on it. You can just do a basic one like this. And I'm just gonna put that in for four minutes and cook that up. So. Hopefully you liked that video today. See how quick and easy it is just to whip that up. So a total minutes, maybe of 10 minutes, cooking time, four minutes. It's really quick and easy. You just want something quick for lunch. Even if you're just cooking for yourself and you made your kids a lunch, but you just want something a little different, a little maybe more unique than what you usually do for your kids. I don't usually personally eat a lot of stuff that my kids eat. So I always like things a little different. So with using the air fryer, I can just quick put something in there and um, whip something up quick and just eat that. I showed you guys how quick and easy it was just to kind of put that together and it's going to be so yummy. But if you guys um, want, you can check out some of my other videos. I'll link them up above. I did a couple more other air fryer videos and um, some treats and different things through the holidays that we're gonna be tying that in uh, through December. So go check that out. Other than that, guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.